hello and welcome back to today's video really quick before we get started i want to mention a couple things number one we have our discord if you didn't already know the froggy army discord is up and running and we've been having a good time in there so i definitely recommend that you join the second thing is to follow me on instagram i haven't promoted my instagram that much so you might not know that i have one but i do have one uh, I barely post, but I'm gonna try harder to post more. And that's it, I guess. I thought I wanted to mention more things, but that's really it. Okay. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of things that you're gonna have questions about. And let me just tell you, just, just don't ask. Don't ask about this. Just, okay? No, but I did have some friends come over and they helped me clear all of this. This is where all my orange flowers were and also my yellow flowers so those are gone now because what we're doing today is working on these areas so if you've been following my island progress we did this in a video this whole little area remember i did this top area in a stream and then i had this little bridge area kind of halfway done and then last night i kind of got some work done on it so we have a big river and we have a little island and I brought the cliffs together so now it meets up with my second level that's back here where my villager houses used to be but I'm slowly moving those. So yeah, I thought, you know, this little bridge is almost done. We have that little island to decorate and um, we've got this little area, this little valley down here so we should just freaking get started. So once again, I do not have a plan. I never have a plan. My whole island is just kind of like, eh, just just slap something down. Uh, the only thing I do have a plan for is this little valley. I kind of want to make it Lily's house area, which I know I already started doing, but I think this little area would be perfect. We could give her like a little swampy marsh little area. And she, since she's one of my favorites, she gets special treatment. Get off my desk. I'm trying to record. Please. No, please don't step on my computer. No, 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 no. Stop. Come here. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so what I'm thinking is this bridge, since I already have all these fruit trees here, I might as well just make my orchard back here. It's been a while since I actually had a legit orchard. I just have fruit trees kind of like spread out everywhere and these are my extras. So, I think that would be super cute. And uh, I crafted some jail bars, infamous jail bars, to make our bridge. This is probably all for nothing because I'm gonna have to put uh, a path under it, no? But I also needed some trees. And what's gonna go in this little dongle? I have no idea. Yes, okay, the signpost can go right here. But you know what I always say. This thing needs some little flowers under it. Okay, that'll work. No. Tell me how on earth was I... Why did the game think I was going to pick that up? Why? Okay, we got a signpost. Great. What else do we put? Okay, maybe a tree? Ugh, I would love to do the tree glitch, but I don't think I have room. Forget the tree glitch. Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. I honestly forget that you can go swimming until I see the bubbles in the water and I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably go diving. I went like maybe three times after it first came out. And you know, of course I made a video about it and I was like, this is amazing. And then I never did it again. I just can't be bothered. Now I think I have a mum cushion and it would look really cute right here. Yes! Adorable. And to fill in these little areas, let's stick some weeds. Always a good solution. Okay! Cute! One little area. Now. Okay, next let's do this island. Because I, ever since I made this, I wanted to instantly start decorating it. But I was like, no, hold off, Raven. Gotta save that for the video because that's what people like to see. Yes! I think another tree. A cedar tree? Let's go grab another one. Trees are like the best way to start when you don't know what to do with an area. I think 
starting with some trees is a solid move. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, they're gonna look good no matter where you put them. It's a freaking tree, you know? And then you could just kind of work around the trees. So yeah, I definitely think that if you don't know what to do, maybe start by putting down a cluster of trees or just one tree and kind of building around that. This does not work. I was gonna try to make a big circle with this little flower thing, but no, that doesn't work. Okay, let's just do a little circle of stone instead for the butterfly to sit on. Hi, hello, Editing Raven here. Just wanted to pop in while you watch me put down these custom designs and say sorry because I sound kind of dead and like not enthusiastic in this video. And that's because I slept in till like 11 and uh, yeah, it was kind of like groggy and I just went and recorded this video straight away after eating some Fruit Loops. So yeah, it kind of was like a little brain dead. So sorry, but uh, I hope it's still a good video nonetheless. Either way, Thank you for watching and let's get back to it. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of the gold roses, but I think they'll look really cute here because it kind of matches with like the butterflies, um, little booty? I forget the, the actual name for it. <laughs> Is it the thorax? I hope I'm right. So let's go grab more gold roses. Okay, I would love to have another flower that's not a, um, Gold rose just to break it up so let's do a white lily over here since that's the only other spot and i feel like oh no i didn't mean to pick that we need a light source so we need to go grab a light source and put that right there and then i think that's almost good enough for me i need more um custom designs i just can't this is too few this is just too few if this is gonna be a magical little area butterfly model and the gold roses we need we need more custom designs you feel me that's better that's more my realm okay a light source probably a mushroom lamp if i'm being honest with myself because that's my favorite light source at the moment okay i didn't get a mushroom lamp <laughs> i'm gonna be different yeah i put a bunny day lamp what about it it, it, it looks good, okay? I know it's an egg, but it matches, kind of. We're gonna leave that there. <laughs> I might take it away later, who knows? We'll see. What I think we need to work on is the path here. But I think first we need some more trees. Because we have to make sure we can still see everything. We have to make sure everything is still accessible. All right, while I get this tree, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Woke up at 11, ate some Fruit Loops, so uh, my day is going well. Feels like it's been forever since I made a Let's Play video, which I know it hasn't been, but I don't know. Time goes by so fast, and at the same time, it goes by so slow. Does that make sense? So I'm happy to be uh, making another Let's Play. They have always been my favorite thing to make. And you guys tell me that you enjoy them, so that also makes me happy. There we go. I kind of like how that looks there, but at the same time, if we go down here, if we are going to put a villager's house right here and have like a little yard, this literally just covers all of it. Yeah, I'm going to move that. We can move this somewhere else. But yeah, yeah that's what I was saying about making sure everything is visible. Because I specifically want that little cropped out area to be something cute and to be visible. So, gotta make sure. Gotta make sure that everyone can see the beautiful creations that you come up with. This edge won't be super straight like this. I just haven't got ar gotten around to building the cliffs yet. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. I have like bamboo tree next to bamboo tree. It's not thoroughly mixed up. Okay. I think the path is what's next, and we also need whatever we're going to use for our bridge. So let's go to the Ables, and let's see what we can find. So I actually already have something that I for sure want to get. It is going to repla be replacing my white daisy path that I have. Like, the path path. I just... I just don't like the white one anymore. Just the flowers. I don't know. I don't know what about it. I don't enjoy it anymore. I barely use it, so I'm just gonna get something else that I've been eyeing for a while. We're gonna do leaves instead of flowers. <laughs> so uh, give me a second while I replace all my paths with this and uh, 
I'll leave this whole entire clip up so you can see the codes. I know that Daisy's is like really fairy core and I do enjoy that, but I, I don't know. I just feel like I can never make it work anywhere on my island. I feel like it just looks weird. Maybe it's just how I use it. Or maybe it's just the path itself. I don't know. But regardless, I'm not going to keep something that I don't really love. I'm definitely going to just replace it, find something I do like. Because at the end of the day, even if it's not as fairy core as it could be, it's um, happy raven core. And that's what matters. Okay, now we need to find something for the bridge. So I want to find like a plank or a wood pattern. So first I'm going to try searching planks or just plank for now. So there's actually only seven pages for planks, which is interesting. I definitely want something white or lighter colored because that's gonna match my aesthetic. Nothing good with plank, so let's try adding an S. <laughs> and if you feel like you can't find anything when you're searching for custom designs, try adding an S. Try maybe misspelling it even. I haven't tried that, but you know, some of, some people misspell things because it's so hard typing on here. Okay, so searching planks with an S brings us 15 pages to look through. That's how much of a difference adding an S can make. I kind of like this. I feel like this kind of fits, especially because the gel bars are gray. Oh, and what I always do, whenever I find um, a custom design that I like in the search I always favorite the creator just so I can go back and look and see what else they've got because if I like one of their designs I'll probably like some other designs that they've got. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to put it underneath the gel bars too I'm thinking because that, <laughs> that, <doesn't, laughs> that doesn't look great. Oh, my pockets are always full. That's why I have dumping grounds on my island because I just, I just have no room. So let's see if the jail bars kind of cover up that straight edge there. If not, we can try something else. Yeah, look at that. That's really cute, I love it. It's adorable, okay. I definitely think we need some sort of light or tall thing right here. And I'm thinking we push this over. Sorry. Yeah, there we go, that's a lot better. I feel like it was in the way a bit. So there we go. Let's try out our leaf pattern. Ooh. Oh, I already love it. I put one down and I love it. Okay, I know a lot of people ask me for advice on putting down the path and using the path. Paths that are like this, like nine tile paths. And um, honestly, like I'm not that good at it either. So <laughs> I just, I just kind of like try and hope that it works. But the main thing that I do is I figure out like where I wanted to start. So obviously I wanted to start over here and where I wanted to end. So I think I want to get it to about here and then I want to have it split off. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but we'll try. And then I do like to put the edges down first. I think that's a common tip anyway. Um, and then I try to make it like winding. If that makes sense like I don't want it to go all I don't want it to make like a like a diagonal line I want to make it like an S where it's all curvy and it's got you know it's going all different ways because I just think that looks really cute sometimes you might need to fill it in otherwise you get confused or at least I get confused okay wait I need to look at it this one is really good I can't tell where the edges are this one is hard <laughs> Why is this one so hard? You could also try to mix in like chunkier areas, like right here, and then make a little skinny area. I like the skinny areas the best, but I think this leaf one benefits from having chunky areas. That's just my opinion. What we can do is add some stones to the edge. These leaves kind of blend in with the ground, which is good because I want it to be my secondary little path, right? And I think the flower one, what I didn't like about it was that it was too eye-catching, maybe? Okay, wait, we need to mix these up. It was a little too eye-catching, so I felt like it was really distracting wherever I put it. Maybe that's what I didn't like about it. So this leaf one is definitely a good secondary one because it's more muted, it's not super distracting, and um, it's, very, it's very natural, very nice. I like it. So yeah, we can add these stones to the edge, kind of make it a little more prominent. And we can put something here. Ooh, bamboo shoot lamp. Calling it right now. Cute. Very cute. 
Ah, I'm loving this. I don't know about you, but I'm loving this. Okay. We need to continue with the, uh, the path here. I think I'm just gonna extend it over here. Make it like a big blob. And then that's gonna be it. It'll just end. What is Lily wearing today? Lily, what is that? I have to talk to Isabel about Lily. Hmm. We've been having some issues. She's not part of the dress code. So yeah, there we go. Okay. From the path leading to our bridge, it goes into a little skinny. And then we got our little blob right here. That works for me. And then what we can do right here is just have it extend behind this. It'll kind of disappear behind this because you can't really see anything anyway with the normal camera. So let's finish this up and then we're done with that. All right, so there we go. This is the uh, behind the scenes view of it. We've got this little empty space right here, but that's directly behind the cliff. So I don't think um, we'll do anything with that. But yeah, this is what it looks like with just a normal camera. Very cute. And then this is our little our little area over here. So still some empty space to work with. We will figure that out. But this is our path to our bridge. I really, I, I, I love it. I love it so far. Okay, we need our street lamp. And then we gotta do some finishing touches because I feel like we could, we could add some more. There's still more to do. Okay, I don't have a street lamp in my house. We're gonna have to go and, and yoink one from somewhere else. Oh, there's one street lamp. Yeah, I'm, I'm yoinking you. Goodbye. Cute. I love it. A little, um, a little more city-like, this bridge. But I do feel like we are missing something. I'm gonna try something that I did somewhere else on my island. I love putting these plants, right? But I feel like they look a little too manicured, if that makes sense, because they're in a pot. And it looks like, you know, it doesn't look like wild or nature enough, so what I do is I just put a little, a little hedgy in front of them and it hides the pot and it adds some more greenery and uh yeah it looks a little less like fake plant to me i don't know if that's just me i also feel like we need some color we need like some flowers let's go get some yellow ones okay some some more splashes of color because it's very green over here very green but i honestly kind of like that i love the natural look i think this is how i'll leave it for now we can always tweak it later. As I do, I always tweak things later. Let's take another look at our little island that we did. I like it. I really like it. Ooh, okay, this birdhouse. Okay, I have a birdhouse, I have a bird bath, and I have a little bench. I think we could make like a little bird area. Probably right here. I just need to move these tr freaking trees. Yeah, because this little skinny area right here is also not working for me. Neither is... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Ooh, actually... Actually, I kinda like that. Okay, can we still get past? Okay, yes. What also sucks is that I barely use any of the in-game paths. And I really want my stuff to show up on the map. But I just... Like, the custom designs are too good. And it's like some of them I could put on top of in-game paths, but a lot of them just don't work like that. So, I don't know. I, I also haven't even been trying to incorporate them, which is my own fault. Let's continue with our bird situation. So I have the wedding bench. Here. And you know what? I think we need some more space down here. It's too in the way. Okay, we made this a lot bigger. Just fine. I think the more space you have to work with, the cuter is gonna come out anyway. Okay, bird bath. Cute. Do you ever just like forget the controls of the game? And it's like you hit the plus sign to go into your inventory and you're like, wait, that's not my inventory. So then you hit your nook phone and you're like, wait, that's not my inventory. And it's just like a cycle and you go through like 10 different menus before you finally freaking put the bird bath down. Yeah, I hate that. Birdhouse in the fairy circle. Boom. I did it. I beat the game. Okay, big empty space. Don't know what to put here. Uh, we're putting this rock. 
Rock it is. Oh, maybe we could put some ducks up here. That would be cute. Someone told me this tip. I can't recall who. You put this little bag, it kind of looks like a seed or something that you could be feeding to either the ducks or the birds. So that's super cute. And I think I need to go grab a duck to slap here somewhere. Wait, don't don't slap ducks, actually. Let's just put a whole bunch of rocks. I need something. This area like needs something. I feel like I'm putting stuff all around the edges and not much in the middle, but it's like I don't know what to put. Okay, let's slap a bush here. There you go, bright green bush. These cicadas are the worst. Okay, to incorporate some of the in-game path, we can put some here. Let's try it. Since we have just like a little skinny area. It's like a it's like a little nature path by the lake, you know? And we can have it lead you all the way back to the bridge. Maybe. I don't know if it'll work. Ooh, we can't connect it. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Okay. Well, it's not perfect. Um, please let me pass by the tree. Thank you. Okay. It doesn't connect everywhere. <laughs> but, whatever. It's cute, I think. And I want to put a tree right here, but I can't because the uh, cliffs need to be built up more. So we'll put this here for now. And to decorate this little path some more, let's add custom designs. Let's not go too crazy though. I think sometimes I go a little too crazy. Uh, I love how the little just one square tiles look with these little flowers on them. That is just adorable. Ducks. I think we have some duck models and then I think we're honestly done. We've been so productive today. Me and you. Good job. You know what else we're missing? I just realized we don't have any country fence anywhere. How could we do this? This is why it looks so weird because we don't have any fences. Ah, okay. We gotta change that. I brought some ducks. How are you doing, sir? Okay, he's facing this way because he sees the breadcrumbs. Or no, don't feed them breadcrumbs. The seeds, or maybe corn? Is corn okay to feed ducks? I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I mean, I do have this. We could make an exception because this is this is kind of like a little zen area. Let's let's do it. Let's be adventurous with our fencing because uh, country fencing is uh, just immaculate. But it's not fair to the other fences, you know. All right, I think we're pretty much done. Let's take a look at it. Our beautiful hard work. We worked so hard on this path. You guys didn't see the struggle that I went through with it. Probably. I like this. I really like this. Then it leads us over here. Uh, to a stupid cicada. Please move. Okay, thank you. We've got nothing here yet. But that's 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 for another time. Leads us over here to our super adorable little island, our magical island. Please ignore the fact that I plucked those gold roses. I have clumsy hands. And then if we follow the secret path and pass by that tree, then we have a beautiful, calm, tranquil area where you can just sit, grab this little brown bag full of seeds, feed these ducks that are just eyeing it. I mean, look at him. He really wants those seeds. I really love it. I love this view. Very, very cute. But most of all, I'm proud of our bridge. I think it came out really cute for me not knowing what I'm doing. And with that, I think we're done. We got a bunch done. Like, it doesn't really feel like it to me, but I have been recording for over an hour. I just blitzed this area. We did a great job. I'm so proud of us. Good job, us. Pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. Go take a break. I need to get up and stretch. You probably do too. So, I think it's time we part ways. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun watching and I hope you got some inspiration. Don't forget, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have our Discord that you should totally come and join. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.